we have 2y minus 3 quantity cubed, a binomial cubed, and we want to use FOIL as part of the solution. Okay, well, it's not as bad as it looks. Let's just write this out. Let's expand it. We have 2y minus 3 times 2y minus 3 times 2y minus 3. That's what cubed means, right? We just multiply it by itself three times over. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take these last two terms and FOIL these together. Okay, so let's, let's step aside and do that. Okay, so let's change to blue here. Okay, so here we go. F-O-I-L. All right. These terms together we have first. So 2y times 2y, there's our f, 4y squared. All right, for our outside, there we go. These two become our outside. 2y times minus 3 gives us minus 6y. Minus 6y, all right. First outside, inside, okay. Inside, negative 3 times 2y, that makes our inside, it starts to get a little messy here, minus 6y, minus 6y again, and finally that and that, the last terms in our binomial make our last. All right, so that gives us minus 3 times minus 3 is a plus 9. Make it look nice, combine like terms, 4y squared minus 12y plus 9. Okay, so all of that was just to get these two foiled together. So we still have this 2y minus 3 out front. So now we can rewrite this as 2y minus 3 times this quantity here. times this quantity over here, 4y squared minus 12y plus 9. Okay, well we're now we're down to a binomial times a trinomial, so we do the old double distribute here. I'm going to take this 2y through to each one of these terms, and then come back and take this negative 3 through to each one of these terms, like so. Okay, let's do it. 2y times 4y squared. All right, that's 8y cubed. All right, y to the first plus y squared is 8, uh, y to the 1 plus 2, y to the third. Okay, 2y times negative 12y is negative 24. y times y is y squared. 2y times 9 plus 18y. All right, coming back over to take care of this negative 3. Negative 3 times 4y squared, negative 12y squared. Negative 3 times 12y comes back around to positive. So this is plus 36y. And finally, negative 3 times 9, negative 27. Ooh, these get kind of long, running out of room here. All right, well, almost there. Combine like terms. Looks like those y squares will go together. These y's go together. That leaves us with 8y cubed. Let's see, minus 24 minus 12 is minus 36y squared. 18 plus 36 is 54 plus 54y minus 27. This is nice, it's in descending order here, so that's the way we want to present these kinds of answers, and there's no other like terms to combine, so that is our final answer. Let's try another one. Here we have y minus one, quantity cubed. Okay, and we want to use FOIL again for this one, so here we go. Let's just write it out. y minus one times y minus one times y minus one. Okay, I'm going to leave this first term alone and just work on the second two. So let's step aside and do that. I have y minus 1 times y minus 1. 
I'll foil that together. I get y squared, there's my first, outside, minus y, inside, minus y, last. Minus 1 times minus 1 is plus 1. Okay, so y squared minus 2y plus 1. Okay, so all of this multiplied to this expression here, y squared minus 2y plus 1. Okay, so let's replace it. So now we have y minus 1, that's still hanging out in front here, times quantity y squared minus 2y plus 1. Okay, let's do a double distribute next. First, this y term is going to multiply through to all three of these in this trinomial. Then we'll come back and take this negative 1 through to all three of these in the trinomial. Okay, so y times y squared, y cubed. y times negative 2y, minus 2y squared. y times 1, well, I like that, plus y. Minus 1 times y squared is just minus y squared. Minus 1 times minus 2 is plus 2y. Minus 1 times 1, minus 1. Okay, combine some like terms. Let's see what we can do here. We're not done yet, but we're close. There we go. Those go together, the y squareds and the y's go together. So this leaves us with y cubed minus 3y squared, plus 3y, minus 1.